How to solve pause questions in indices and logarithms? In this video, I will show you step by step on how to solve this type of question and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your MS skills, Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first question. For question 1, given x is equal to 3 to the power of p and y is equal to 9 to the power of q, express log 81 square root of x over y base 9 in terms of p and q. So let's look at the question again. Given x is equal to 3 to the power of p and y is equal to 9 to the power of q. So this is given in index form, so we have to change it to logarithm form. So x is equal to 3 to the power of p and y is equal to 9 to the power of q. So when we change this to logarithm form, it becomes log x base 3 equals to p. And for this, it will be log y base 9 equals to q. Then I'm going to write this question over here. So become log 81 square root of x over y base 9 equals. So I'm going to split this into three different logs for 81 square root x and also for y. So when we times, we plus the logs. If it's divide, we minus the log. So log 81 plus log square root of x minus log y. So equals log, so 81 is 9 square, so 9 square plus log, so x square root x means that it's similar to x power half minus log y and then we bring down the powers so 2 log 9 plus we bring down the half half log x minus log y so equals so log 9 9 is equals to 1 so 2 times 1 is 2 so half Okay, this is base 9, but it's given here base 3. I'm going to change this to base 3. So become log 3 over log 3. Then x on top and 9 at the bottom. So 9 is 3 square. Minus log y. So equals 2 plus. So half log x over so when we 2 to bring down log 3 3 is 1 so 2 times 1 is 2 minus log y so equals 2 plus so 2 times 2 is 4 so here become 1 over 4 and log x base 3 so here is equals to p so I'm going to substitute p over here and this one will be minus so log y base 9 is equals to q so minus Q. So that's the answer. For question 2, given log t plus 2 base 2 minus 3 equals to log v base 2. Express t in terms of v. Okay, firstly, I'm going to write down the question which is log t plus 2 base 2 minus 3 equals to log v base 2. Okay, I'm going to gather all the log 2 to one side so that I can combine together under one log later. So t plus 2 minus log v base 2 equals to, so 3, negative 3 shift over become positive 3. Okay, so since both logs are of the same base, we can combine under one log base 2. So it becomes t plus 2 over v. Why is it divide? Because it's minus. 
okay so equals to 3 so next I'm going to change this to become index form so this 2 base 2 I'm going to shift it over to the right it becomes 2 to the power of 3 and this one I bring it down become t plus 2 over v okay and then they want us to express t in terms of v which means that t must be on the left as a subject so t plus 2 so got to get rid of this v shift it over to the right hand side so equals so 2 cubed is equals to 8 so 8 times v becomes 8v so t is equals to 8v so positive 2 shift over become minus 2 so that's the answer for question 3 given 2 times log x square y base 10 equals to 3 plus log x base 10 minus log y base 10. Express y in terms of x. First of all, I'm going to write down the question first, which is 2 log x square y equals 3 plus log x minus log y. So next, we have to check to make sure that all the base for the logs are the same before we combine them under one log later. So this one, 2, we shift it up, become log x square y power 2. Then plus log x, we shift over to the left, become minus log x. So minus log x. And this minus log y, we shift over to the left hand side, become plus log y. So plus log y equals to 3 okay and then I solve this first so x square then square outside become x to the power of 4 and then y square so y square okay then minus log x plus log y equals to 3 and then next since all the bases for the logs are the same we can combine under one log so x to the power of 4, y squared. So minus log x means divided by x. And then plus log y means times y. Equals to 3. Okay, then we solve this first. So log, so x to the power of 4 divided by x is x cubed. And y squared times y is y cubed. Equals to 3. And next, we just have to change this to index form. So this 10, I move it to the right hand side, become 10 to the power of 3 and then this one I can factorize it become xy to the power of 3 and then we compare because both are the same power we can eliminate it so xy is equals to 10 so let's look back at the question again express y in terms of x which means that y must be the subject on the left so therefore y is equals to 10 over x and that's the final answer well, that's all for now. Do you wish to see more hot questions like this? Let me know in the comments below. If you find this video useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!